Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Switcher T Score, and today I'm bringing you guys Elite Weapons Showcase episode number eight. This one here is actually the MP11 Squeaker, and I haven't made one of these videos in like a month or so, and I want to show you guys uh, more of the Elite Guns in Advanced Warfare. I haven't done too many of these. Like I said, this is only the eighth one now, and I probably should have a lot more of these made by now, but I just kind of want to show you guys uh, some more of the Elite Guns and tell you guys my opinions on all of them, so... Hopefully you guys will enjoy this video today. Uh, this one here, like I said, is the MP11 Squeaker. A lot of you guys have probably heard of the MP11 Goliath because it has plus 3 damage and it's one of the better SMGs in the game. But I actually personally have never seen anybody use the MP11 Squeaker and it's one of those uh, SMGs in the game that just nobody uses. So I wanted to show you guys my thoughts and opinions on the gun and just show you guys some gameplay and stuff like that. So in this game here on Biolab, I think I actually managed to get about a 20 kill streak, and I thought that was pretty good. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy the gameplay. I thought it was pretty nice overall, and I'm just gonna tell you guys uh, the stats on the gun and stuff like that. So, first of all, guys, on the MP11 Squeaker, you actually get a pretty nice camouflage. It's like a pretty nice gold and silver camo, and so I would say, uh, you know, don't use any other camos on this gun. Just use the base camouflage, and uh, it looks pretty nice, so don't really add on, like, a, you know, red camo or blue camo or, like, any other additional camos because it kind of takes away from the gold and silver, so just run the base camouflage on this gun, and I feel like it's pretty nice. And then uh, for the actual stats on the MP11 Squeaker, you guys, you get a uh, minus 2 for the accuracy and then plus 2 for the fire rate, and I feel like those stats actually aren't all that good the mp11 has a really fast fire rate as it is and so if you add plus two to the fire rate it makes it a grand total of 14 which is actually pretty fast in my opinion i know a lot of people when they run smgs they want to have like the fastest fire rate smgs that they can so if that's one of you guys then uh, you guys would definitely enjoy this gun it has a really fast fire rate and uh, you guys would probably like it overall. I don't really like the really fast firing SMGs. I would rather have like uh, better range or better damage. You know, that's what I kind of look for when I run submachine guns. But maybe you guys would love this one. And uh, also, I don't really like the minus two accuracy. It makes the recoil kind of hard. So I like to run a red dot sight on this gun. And, and it actually comes built in. So you have to run the red dot sight. But, you know, I run red dot sight on this gun. And then I run a foregrip as well. And then for my third attachment, I would say maybe like extended mags because the fire rate is really fast. So uh, for the three attachments overall, you guys, I would say run red dot sight because you have to. And then run foregrip and extended mags. Those are probably the three best attachments to use on this gun. And uh, that's kind of what I would, what I would recommend. So... Uh, that's kind of the best setup for this gun and you guys can see in this game like right there you guys uh, the range is terrible and somehow I got a kill I try to just kind of pop fire like one shot at a time and with guns like this that have a really really fast fire rate uh, if the enemies are really far away I would advise to just kind of avoid the gunfight just kind of run away or if they're kind of standing still like that guy was there just definitely pop fire just shoot one bullet at a time like I did and uh, the best way to use the MP11 squeaker is to just kind of rush hard. You want to be really close quarters and just be, you know, as close to the enemies as you can. You don't want to have, like, long-range engagements. Uh, if there's really long lines of sight, you kind of just want to avoid those altogether. I feel like I did a pretty good job overall in this game here. Uh, if the enemies were far away, I try to just kind of avoid them. And I try to pick my gunfights so that the enemies were always really close. That's what I would say uh, to do with the MP11 squeaker. So... Uh, that's pretty much it for this gun, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, this was, like, maybe one of the first couple of games that I had with this gun. And I was actually really surprised at how well I could do. Uh, like I said, I don't have the MP11 Goliath unlocked right now. But I feel like that one is probably better than the Squeaker. But I still feel like the Squeaker is pretty decent overall. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, let me know if you guys have the MP11 Squeaker. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.